So the premise in this film is is time traveling. However, time traveling is very tricky because it can very quickly become like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Sarah Connor taught her son to fight, organize, prepare from when he was a kid, when you were in hiding before the war. Yeah, so John Connor's prepared as the person who saves the world because his mom taught him, and his mom taught him because John Connor sent Kyle Reese back in time to pork his mom. So it's like, where did the information come from for Sarah Connor to know that the robots are gonna rise up? And each step along the way makes sense. Like each Mm -hmm. step, like, yeah, that's what you should do. But actually when as a whole, it's like, why did this thing happen at all? Because if it doesn't happen, if, if any one of these pieces doesn't happen, then the whole thing doesn't happen. What, like, what caused it? What starts it? What's the initiation? All right, there is no initiation. It's like a, it's a loop in time that has no cause. Weird. So, so weird, like, it's weird, like weird. a, it's a weird, right? But okay, I mean, but okay, but weird. Does, does that mean that Sarah Connor and John Connor are part of the loop that creates the war? I think it is. So it's it's Sarah Connor. If she doesn't prepare for war, then the war might not happen. So it's like the act mm-hmm. of knowing that a war happened causes the war to happen. Right. In some butterfly effect sort of way, maybe. Because mm-hmm. she's not Miles Dyson. But she's somehow part of this loop. Do you remember Miles Dyson from T2? He's the scientist who creates... Terminators. Okay, we'll we'll get that next. Time. I'm watching. I'm watching that next. 